guys so kakisin ko lang Later. Meanwhile. Okay, so magising ko lang uh, for today. Gawin natin. Is, uh, of course, I'll be working from home now. So, mag uh, work out lang tayo. Tapos, uh, ayan, mag-trabaho tayo dito. Work from home ako dito. So, guys, so meron dito sumasalubong sa akin eh. Oh. Tara. Gugutong na siguro siya. So today, activity natin is that I'll be working from home. So papakita ko sa inyo guys yung daily routine ko. So paano ba nag-start yung day ko? Of course, I start my day with a prayer. Although hindi ko na pinakita. And then of course, mag-workout ako. Breakfast, shower, and then trabaho na. Work from home. So yun guys, pakita ko yung ating daily routine. And paano ba yung living like a part man? Alright? Alkohol siya. Pagka ano, mawag siyang hands, tapos alkohol. Ayun si Rocky. Good morning. Say your good morning, Rocky. Hindi siya nag-ano, hugas ng kamay. Kahit walang tao, no, JR? No. Bola lang yan Okay, so maya Lalabas niya na si Rocky Ano ba sige, tignan niya Okay, lalabas na kayo ni Jay Al Ano ba ginawa? Sige na Sige na, sit, sit Sige na, goodbye Lang Ah, sige Okay, bye-bye. Yeah. Okay.
hours later. <laughs> What's up mga kabartman? I'm about to start my work for today and this morning uh, my schedule is that I'll be having a Zoom meeting with uh, one of my customer. So this one is an important meeting for me so wish me luck guys. So I hope I can uh, get this project. And then after this uh, Zoom meeting, uh, I'll be doing some follow-up calls and then courtesy calls sa mga ibang customers ko just to inquire and uh, follow up mga previous com communications ko with them. So normally I start my week dito sa work ko, I normally start my week uh, by accomplishing my war WAP. War is a uh, weekly activity report where I list down all uh, what transpired uh, for me dun sa mga previous activities and calls ko for the week. And then WAP naman is the weekly activity plan where I list down all uh, customers, hard customers, potential customers that I need to visit or call for the week, dito ko nililist kung ano yung mga questions, ano yung mga informations that I need to uh, get from the customers. Guys, it is important to plan ahead uh, so para hindi masayang yung ating calls sa customer at at the same time, hindi rin masayang yung oras ni customer sa atin maging productive and worthwhile ang ating uh, visit or calls sa customer. So as mentioned before, I, I mean into, I've been into sales for quite some time so this is just to share with you guys Ano yung mga experiences ko at ano yung mga knowledge na na-incur ko for the past years na being ahente. So normally, ang common notion sa pagiging ahente is that makulit, madaldal, magbobola, mga OPM. Alam niyo pa yung OPM, mga uh, O-Promise me. So, dapat ang notion or dapat ang uh, sa pagiging ahente, dapat customer will see us as a partner or a solution provider for them. So actually, uh, a solid relationship for me, I believe, is that uh, solid foundation for being a sales guy. So dapat ma-earn natin yung trust o mag-build up natin yung relationship natin sa kanila. So paano? May have no trust. Trust, hindi ito yung nabibili sa Mercury or sa 7-Eleven na. Trust is tiwala. Tiwala na po sa mga sa atin. So kailangan tiwala sila sa atin para makakuha tayo sa kanila ng mga information at tapos at the end, makakuha tayo ng sales sa kanila. So, ano ba yung trust? Paano ba mag-earn yung trust sa customer? Ano ba yung mga trust builders? So, number one is reliability. So, kailangan maging reliable tayo with the customer. So, we, we deliver what we promise to them. Ito yung kung ano yung pinangako natin during the negotiation, ito yung mga freebies or yung mga after sale service, dapat i-deliver at ibigay natin sa customer yun. So number two is integrity. So kailangan maging honest tayo at maging ethical in dealing business with the customers. So objectivity, dapat maging objective. We consider all sides of the issues. So hindi lang tayo mag-asasente sa isang issue or for example sa isang features, advantages, and benefits of Produkto. Dapat to consider all the sides of the issues. And then, responsiveness. So, kailangan maging focus tayo on things that are most important to the customers. So, ano ba? So, by, kailangan natin ma-identify yung needs ng customer or yung priorities nila by asking questions. And then, uh, competence. Of course, kailangan maging competent tayo. Dapat mataas yung level ng ating product knowledge. Of course, dapat alam natin yung produkto natin, alam natin kung ano yung binibenta natin. And then, ano yung, alam natin yung industriya na ating ginagalawan. And then, of course, yung interpersonal uh, relationship or selling skills na kailangan meron tayo naman sa sales guy. And then, next will be yung customer involvement. involvement. So, kailangan maging involved sila sa ating uh, selling at buying process. So, kailangan na-involve sila. So, paano natin na-involve? By asking questions. Ano ba yung mga priorities and ano uh, na nila, needs nila? So, from from there, doon natin ipofocus yung ating discussion with the customers. So, very, ano rin, uh, very keen din dapat ang ating uh, active listening. So, dapat ma-practice ma, ma natin yung ating mga listening to hear, listening to understand, and then listening to, to communicate. Especially yung listening to communicate. Kasi dito natin pinaparaphrase o sinasummarize 
based on our understanding para makita ni customer na naiintindihan natin kung ano yung sinasabi nila o naiintindihan natin kung ano yung uh, uh, ano yung priorities nila kung ano yung concerns nila so guys uh, siguro uh, doon na muna ako mag uh, end dito sa discussion I leave it to the experts marami yung mga, mga experts na pagdating sa mga sales uh, training so ito lang sinar ko lang uh, based on my experience so anyway uh, I'll be having uh, my zoom meeting in 3 to 5 uh, minutes from now so i-prepare ko lang yung mga papers or documents that I need to, uh, during the Zoom meeting. Alright guys, so thank you very much for watching. So, see you!